Hey guys, you're watching Dowski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this video, we're going to go through everything new in the June update for Adobe XD. Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, June update for Adobe XD. It has dropped as well as me like changing the studio around. I've like flipped the entire studio 180 degrees and like trying to move everything around in this tiny space was like tetrising everything around, but it done it. I done it. That's terrible English. I've done it. It's done. I hope you like the new setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. But anyway, we're going to jump into the June update for Adobe XD. We'll jump to the screen and I'm going to go through everything that is new. Right here, so here is the blog post. I will link this in the video description if you'd like to check it out. June 2019 release of Adobe XD. Property Inspector, Prototyping Mode, Subscript and Superscript Text, XD for Jira integration, new plugins panel, and more. Fantastic, let's scroll down. So the first one, the new Property Inspector in Prototype Mode. So this is pretty cool, big time saver. We'll jump into XD now. So we've got a bunch of artboards here. Now previously, what we'd do is highlight either an object or the artboard itself, click and drag. So I'll just create some really quick links in XD. And typically what you would do is you would click on the link itself and a pop-up would come up and then you'd select all your options and that would be that. But if you wanted to make a change like across multiple artboards, if you wanted to say change the easing from 0.2 seconds to one second across all the artboards, you had to do it one by one. Whereas now what you can do is hold shift and select either multiple artboards or multiple objects. And we have that pop-up over here on the right. So it sits over here as its own property inspector in prototyping mode. So now you can see the destination, of course, has a line that indicates it's mixed because we're combining multiple artboards, but properties like trigger, action, animation, and the easing, things like that, we can change that across multiple artboards like that. So we could change our easing across lots of different artboards from ease in out to let's say wind up. Now I'm doing this across two, but imagine if you've got 50 artboards, you can now select them all and change the easing in a snap. Like it's super, super easy. And it's just nice having it over here on the right as well. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the first change. If we go back to the blog post, let's scroll down support for superscript and subscript. So what this is, We've got these lovely artboards here. Don't know why there's two. We've got superscript first of all. So that's when your numbers or your letters, your characters go a little bit smaller and above the text. So you can see here if I wanted to do, let's say um, I wanted to just display three to the power of two. Maths, it's, it's been a long time since I've done maths. Over here in the property inspector, we now have the superscript option. We click that and it makes it a little bit smaller and then nudges it up above the other characters. So. That's one thing. The other side of that is now subscript. So if we wanted to do subscript, which is smaller and below, we can select the character, go to the property inspector, click on subscript, this icon here, and you can see it drops it down. So the H2, I think the two is meant to be smaller, but again, this is this is periodic table science-y stuff. I've not done science and maths for a long time. So, um, but there we go. That's an example of how you can use subscript, which is below and superscript, which is up because things that are super uh, higher up, I guess. So clouds are awesome. Anyway, next thing, if we carry on going, XD for Jira integration 2.0, improving the design development workflow. Now, I'll be honest, I've got no idea what Jira is, but if you use Jira, then well, this is fantastic for you. It'll probably make more sense. And there is a video that you can watch as well. So we're just going to move on now. The plugins panel. So another change here. Let's go back into XD. We'll whip out this text. No, we won't. We'll keep it actually because I kind of need it. So we've got some text here. Now before in XD, you would go up to the top if you're on a Mac and you'd have your plugins here on PC. Can't quite remember how you access plugins. I think it was from like the menu thing that slides out, but you, you know, I'm sure you know how to do it. We had our old school way of accessing plugins, which is still there, that's fine. But we also now, in the bottom left-hand corner, have this little plugin icon here, which looks, looks like Lego. Looks like my son's Lego, I love this icon. So that brings out the plugin menu. All your plugins are listed here on the left. 
And so what I can do is I could select some text here and then just go and click. And then I've got all of those options here. So they kind of like expand down. So if I go up to plugins, you can see Lorem Ipsum, I've got four options there. Now I've got those options listed here. Now, if I want to go and add some text, it still brings up like the relevant pop-up for that plugin, but it just makes it so much easier, like having all of them just accessible here in their own plugins menu. And if you want to go and add a new plugin, let me just expand this. No, just Lorem. Let's add some more Lorem Ipsum text. That was a terrible example. There we go. There we go. So if you want to add <laughs> some more plugins, you've got the plus at the very top here. And there you go. And I would definitely check, uh, and I would definitely recommend checking them out because there's so many different plugins that expand the capabilities of XD. And XD is free, by the way, as well. So um, yeah, there's so many cool plugins here. I've literally got four, but I need to I need to mess around with some more because some of them are really cool. And there we go. That covers the June update for Adobe XD. It's a smaller update, but if you use prototyping and plugins, then you're gonna find a lot of value here. But anyway, if you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.